Hello, welcome to Coyote Hills Regional Park. My name is Dino Labiste. I'm a naturalist for East Bay Regional Park District. Today, we're going to take a look at a perennial plant that is used by the native peoples of California. The plant is called dogbane. Dogbane grows on hillsides, in open wooded areas, in gravelly or sandy soil, mainly near streams, and in shady or moist places. As the plant matures, it becomes witty at the base and is distinguished by the branching in the upper portion of the plant. The stems will eventually have a reddish brown tint. Some of the small white to greenish white flowers are starting to bloom. Notice that the flowers are growing in terminal clusters. Wasp, flies, moths, butterflies and bees pollinate the flowers. Dogbane also propagates by a continuously growing horizontal underground rootstock called a rhizome that develops from the initial taproot. Due to the many underground rhizomes, the plant may be found growing as colonies. Dogbane's scientific name is Apocinum cannabinum. Apocinum means a way dog, which refers to the plant's toxic nature when ingested. It was poisonous to dogs. When dogbane is bruised or broken, the stems and leaves secrete a milky white sap. The toxic sap deters herbivores from feeding on the plant. The name cannabina means like hemp in reference to the similarity to cannabis as a fiber for making strong cordage. The California natives made cordage and rope by twining the long bass fibers of dogbane. Coyote Hills Regional Park is located on the historic homeland of the Tuibun Ohlone. Native peoples all over California have a respectful relationship with the resources of the land. Dogbane is one of the plant resources that provided the Tuibun Ohlone ancestors with the fibers for making utilitarian tools and other items. Dogbane cordage was made into hunting and fishing nets, bowstring, ceremonial regalia, clothing, straps called tump lines, carrying nets, ropes, snares, containers, and netted bags. They literally tied their world together with cordage. I would like to demonstrate how cordage is made from the dogbane stem. In the fall, the leaves turn yellow and drop off. The milky sap disappears in the stem and what is left is a bare stalk. I have a few dry stalks 
from a dog bean plant growing in my native garden in my backyard at home for this demonstration. It's important to remember that here in our East Bay Regional Parks, we cannot gather any plants. All the plants, animals, and other natural things are protected and is prohibited to collect. I will demonstrate how the fibers are removed from the dogbane stalk. The stalk is crushed along its entire length. The stalk is opened up and the woody section is removed. There is an outer coating on the stalk. It has to be removed by rubbing the fibers between the fingers. Here are the fine dogbane fibers. Cordage is made by twisting the fibers in opposite directions. It's similar to wringing out a wet towel. The fibers will twist onto themselves when brought together. The fibers are then rolled on the thigh to continue the cordage making process. Thank you for joining me on the story about dogbane and the native peoples who utilize this important plant. Come and visit Coyote Hills Regional Park and the other East Bay Regional Parks. I'll see you on the trails.